Do you want to be the good cop or the bad cop, Nicole? Um, I think we should do bad cop and worse cop. Like bad cop that's bad, but like mean, and then also bad cop that's bad at their job. All right. In the same accents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Officer Maud. Or no, hey, that would be Hey Tana. Listen. <laughs> I got I got an accusation to level at you. I'm pressing that X to doubt button. So did what why did you get into the nautical stuff? Did you just do it for the jokes? Um mainly for the women. Um I would say. <laughs> By that do you, you mean know? like the ships? Because they're all like yes, they're all exactly. anthropomorphized in that way. Um exactly. I'm gonna turn this off because I hate it. <laughs> oh, you just made it bright. Um because um, I noticed this, like, n- not only does a lot of the maritime, this is why I got so distracted trying to listen to your show today, like, not only does the slang really lend itself to just endless riffing, but it really adds it to it when we anthropomorph- anthropomorphize the ships and, you know, also make them all female coded. So, like, mm-hmm. you know, it'd be like, oh, yeah, she went down after she took a load that was too big for her to bear. And you're like, <laughs> okay, sure, yeah. After after she broke her back from carrying too much um but uh but yeah that's um that's a cool aspect of it you know oh i was gonna i was gonna say she's um, got loose cargo holds if you know what i mean regarding that in our very first episode on el faro which is a decent episode not well produced not edited like at all basically couldn't be us but a good story um in that very first one like very tragic tale um of of a ship going down with its entire crew um Sad story, but the entire very, crew is going down. But uh, yeah, oh, the whole crew going down um, on each other, on themselves. It's a mess, um, all in the middle of the Caribbean. But uh, the the term came up uh, blowing tubes uh, in in that first episode, um, which, if I remember correctly, was was just totally emptying her ballast tanks. I think I don't remember at all. I just remember blowing tubes. Sometimes That's... your ballast tanks will empty if you uh, spontaneously you don't empty them before the act. So yeah. it's just it's fine. You just bring a towel, right? Sometimes overnight your ballast tanks will empty on their own. Oh, it's no. normal. Everyone, it happens to everyone. Well, the, um, the important thing is being able to laugh of it, laugh about it as a crew, and just kind of right. you know, shrug it off. And having someone to talk talk about you know that with, um, it's good to have a, a good you know crew uh, who you feel comfortable with. Um, that's that's really the the way to. Um, the way to uh you know reach uh success on the open seas mm. it's all mm. about the crew it's all about crew resource management we talk about that all the time on the show there's definitely something good there in what you're saying about the steamships about how like you know you're you know you're tying you're tying things down so that you know you can keep pushing her until she explodes like mm-hmm. there we go 